Hello people, in this video let us look at the structure of larynx, how it is dif uh, different um, between a child and an adult, okay. So basically we are talking about pediatric larynx here. So look at the main differences. <clears throat> Infant's larynx is positioned high in the neck level, okay. So basically it is going to be higher in the neck level. Epiglottis will be omega shaped because all of these structures will be very flaccid, floppy, right? The thyroid cartilage will be very flat. It will not have that prominence kind of a thing. Then infant's uh, larynx is going to be very conical, okay? It's going to be small and conical. And uh, the submucosal tissue of the infant's larynx are comparatively loose. And they undergo edematous change whenever there is trauma or inflammation and that can lead to obstruction. Okay, so we should understand each of these. Let us understand. So here can you see in this image, what can you see? They have shown C3 here. So larynx is higher in the neck and they are showing between C3, C4. Here they are showing between in adult C4, C5. So larynx is higher in the neck in whom? In infant. So they are saying the tongue will be very large in a baby. Okay, the tongue will be very large in a baby. And it is uh, it will be kind of small and conical, the larynx. So it is... Uh, narrowest position uh, portion is at the cricoid ring okay the cricoid ring will be the narrowest pos portion for a baby for an infant so that thing they are showing here very nicely for infant it is funnel shaped as you can see here it is funnel shaped and the narrow part is at the cricoid cartilage for adult it is cylindrical shape and the narrowest part will be where they are saying for adult it will be at the glottic opening Anyways, we will come to the details. So, we will jot this down, the differences. Just look at the other diagrams also that are available. The tongue is larger in child. The pharynx is smaller. Yes, you can see the pharynx is smaller in the child. Epiglottis is large and floppier. Epiglottis is large and floppier. Remember all this omega shaped. That's why laryngomalacia and all that, right? And the larynx is more anterior and superior. Superior we definitely knew. Now, they are saying it's going to be more anterior also. It is going to be narrowest at the cricoid. Remember, funnel shaped. And uh, trachea is narrow and less rigid. Here, the trachea is narrow and less rigid. Here, the trachea will be a little wide and strong maybe. Okay. Let's look at some other diagrams. Child versus adult. Again, tongue is large in the child. Yes, we got this. Epiglottis is floppier, U-shaped in child, shorter in adult. Okay, so big epiglottis, they will have the child and it will be very floppy. Vocal cords, how will it be for the uh, child? The vocal cord cords slant upward in a child. Okay, but in adults, it will be more horizontal, they are saying. Cricoid is the narrowest part in a child's airway. Okay, and the trachea will be very narrow and less rigid. That's it. So, the larynx is more anterior and superior. Remember that much. The vocal cord they are saying will be little upward slant in a child. Okay. So, let's just say this child, um, what, what are they saying? Let's just understand this a little more. For a child, the larynx will be at a higher level. As they grow, the uh, neck will grow and this larynx will descend. Okay. A larynx will descend a little. Okay. So, in adults, they are saying the vocal cord lying opposite C5. At C5 level, you will have the vocal cord they are seeing in adult. Okay. And uh, what happens uh, in between whenever there is puberty, right? That is when the thyroid cartilage, that angle of thyroid will develop. So, there will be Adam's apple development, right? In males. So, males, the thyroid angle will be 90 degrees. So, they will have a very prominent laryngeal prominence that is called Adam's apple. In females, the angle will be 120 degrees. Okay. So, let us look at the differences from the textbook and close this video. The position of larynx in child will be higher. Uh, C3, when it feeds, the larynx position becomes even higher, C1. So, this allows for uh, uh, sucking and breathing at the same time. Okay. So, listen to this. The high position allows the epiglottis to meet soft palate and make a nasopharyngeal channel for nasal breathing during suckling. The milk feed passes separately over the dorsum of tongue 
and sites of epiglottis thus allowing breathing and feeding to go on simultaneously so how does this help the position to help it helps in allowing breastfeeding and respiration at same time uh then uh, coming to cartilages so cartilages are very soft like we told you they collapse easily the epiglottis is omega shaped that's why they can have laryngomalacia even the arytenoids are very large so here you can see the omega shaped uh, epiglottis shown here right in laryngomalacia we have seen that will lead to turbulent air flow and uh, there will be strider right okay let's move on what happens to thyroid cartilage it will be flat so it is not very easy to find this thyroid cartilage in all for tracheostomy in adults the thyroid angle will be very prominent in men right adam's apple 90 degree yes, when does this all this happen in puberty right what about the shape of the larynx in uh, uh, child shape will be small and conical the narrowest part will be at the cricoid cartilage they are saying the subglottis will be narrow in uh, adult they are saying the glottis and the uh, subglottis will be same uh, width so because it will be cylindrical larynx in adults cylindrical larynx in adults now let's move on to this one submucosal tissue so the, it will be loose so it can undergo edema and then lead to obstruction in the child coming to vocal fold vocal fold obviously will be a uh, small uh, the length will be lesser in a child and la, uh, it will be longer in adults Uh, male they are saying the vocal cord length will be more okay these are the differences in the larynx uh, child and adult this is the difference child higher more anterior cylindrical uh, narrow at uh, the subglottis and then the cartilages are very uh, floppy they collapse easily they are soft the thyroid cartilage is soft then um, submucosal tissue is loose vocal folds are smaller in length then what else we saw the tongue is bigger in child uh, proportionately bigger okay that's all in this video on larynx difference between child and adult